SpaceX Tesla, Neuralink. How does one mind master such disparate domains? Is it genius, sheer luck, or a method, a science, an alchemy of learning? Think about it. How many times have you looked at a skill or subject and thought, this would take me years to master? Yet here's a man who, within months, goes from knowing nothing about rockets to building rockets and rewriting space travel forever. That man is Elon Musk. What if Elon Musk's secret isn't some mystical gift, but a set of tools and a blueprint of strategies that literally anyone can use? Walter Isaacson's biography on Elon Musk reveals countless moments where Musk, with no formal training, out-debates NASA engineers. Yes, a man without any formal knowledge in rockets beats highly qualified NASA engineers. How? I mean, what's really happening inside his mind? Trust me, this isn't about worshipping a billionaire. It's about cracking a code and learning the audacious strategy. What if I told you what you think is Musk's talent in reality is really just physics, not rocket science, but actually learning science? And today, we're engineering it in reverse. Imagine the things you would learn if you had the same blueprint. Well, let's not leave this to imagination. Let's convert it into reality. It's to get started and crack the Elon Musk's code of learning. Imagine if every time you learn something, it's stuck in your brain, not just for a day or a week, but for life. Wouldn't that be amazing? Learning a complex thing forever. No more cramming before exams. No more blanking out on critical details. Just pure concept and intelligence working their way to achieve highest level of learning. Because the secret to this kind of mastery, it isn't just hard work, it's timing. Over a century ago, a psychologist, Hermann Ebbinghaus, revealed a brutal truth when he said, our memories fade like footprints in the sand. Without reinforcement, most of what we learn vanishes within days. And he was so spot on. But do you wonder, what if there was a way to outsmart this forgetting habit? What if I told you that the key to lifelong retention isn't how much you study, but when you revisit it, enter spaced repetition. The silent, single most architect and the most powerful weapon behind some of history's sharpest minds. Think about Elon Musk diving into rocket science, AI and energy grids, fields that would overwhelm most of us. All that without even getting formal education in those fields. Is there a possibility that his secret be as simple as strategically timed review? Well, Marcel Proust once wrote that memory distorts the past, but spaced repetition bends it back into clarity. In the golden words of Marcel Proust, remembrance of things past is not necessarily the remembrance of things as they were. So here's the real question. If this method can turn noobs into experts, beginners into legends, what could it do for you? I mean, don't you think? A simple, smart method, opening your brain valves, helping you save information there, and never letting that information leave. And most importantly, how much more could you achieve if forgetting was no longer your enemy, but a problem you've already solved. Have you ever wondered what truly separates those who just learn from those who truly master? Take a moment and picture this scenario. Let's say there are two students who study the same material. One passively rereads and crams the notes without understanding it, while the other one reads the notes actively, closes the book, and forces their brain to retrieve every detail from scratch. Now, tell me, who do you think retains more? And who among those two will retain information in the long run? 
Well, to answer that question, let's dive into what science says. Science reveals a surprising truth. Real learning doesn't happen when you just passively consume information. It happens when you open the gates of your brain and force your mind to rebuild what it's trying to remember. This superior method of learning is known as active recall, the mental equivalent of lifting weights for your brain, and I'm not even being sarcastic here. But here's a difficult question. If this method is so powerful, why do most of us still rely on passive highlighting and endless rereading? Why? Is it because we aren't aware of this method, or we don't want to learn something with proper concentration? Let's combine active learning with deliberate practice, the art of relentlessly targeting your weakest points. Anders Ericsson's research on experts reveals a pattern. It says, the best in any field don't just practice more. They practice differently. They dissect their failures obsess over feedback and repeat what's hardest until it's effortless. And that is the secret to long-term learning of the highest of achievers. Just think of Elon Musk. He failed again and again to launch a rocket. But in the end, he was able to craft such an engine of rocket which was finally successful. Trust me, sometimes what looks like genius is often just the willingness to endure and bear the discomfort of deliberate practice when others settle for average or good enough. So ask yourself, when was the last time you practiced not just until you got it right, but until you mastered it to such a high level that you couldn't get it wrong? What if I told you that the real secret to learning faster isn't some technique, but something far more primal? Now you must be thinking what that is. Well, that's exactly what it is. Curiosity. The legendary physicist Albert Einstein once claimed he had no special talents. He just had passionate curiosity. In the words of Albert Einstein, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. And what did being passionately curious did it to him? It made him discover some of the biggest mysteries of the world. The result? He won a Nobel Prize and is regarded as one of the greatest minds in human history. So, we've established that curiosity creates hunger for knowledge. Now imagine that hunger for knowledge multiplied by relentless, tireless experimentation. The results be, will exponentially brilliant. Just picture Elon Musk as a child, nose buried in science fiction, dreaming of electric cars and space travel, not as fantasies like millions of other kids, but as puzzles waiting to be solved one day. That's the kind of fire, that's the kind of ultimate spark that ignites true mastery in a human being. But here's the uncomfortable question. When was the last time you let pure curiosity not grades or promotions, ignite your brain and drive your learning. Let's move forward and learn another fact. Curiosity surely is one of the brilliant qualities to attain, but it alone isn't enough. What's more important is what you do with it. That's what matters the most. Musk's true genius lies in treating the world as one giant laboratory, where failure isn't the opposite of success but it's raw material. To him, failure isn't the end, but a raw material to craft success. When million others memorize answers, he obsessively questions assumptions. For example, why can't rockets land vertically? Or why do cars need gasoline? That's how fast and complex Musk's mind is. He wants to change the history of technology and space studies. Even the Apple CEO, Steve Jobs, appreciates this mindset and calls this a thinking different mindset. In the famous words of Steve Jobs, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So ask yourself, what commonly accepted truths in your field are you still accepting without challenge? And what could you discover 
if you dared to test them. Imagine if you could be the architect of your own mind like Elon Musk is the architect of rockets and builds them with precision, purpose and consistent improvement. Well, all the needed tools are already in your hands. From spaced repetition to cement knowledge. From active recall to forge stronger neural pathways. From deliberate practice to sharpen skills to their highest level. Every tool, every gadget, every code, every strategy is there. But now the real challenge arrives. Will you actually use them? Imagine looking back a year from now. How much could you have mastered if you started today? Because trust me, the first step isn't magic. It will never happen on its own. It's a decision. It's your decision. You have to make it. You have to be courageous enough to take that first step. Just think about your life. What is that one skill or subject you've been putting off learning? And what's stopping you from applying these methods right now? No one but you. So why don't you show some audacity and start? Let's get into the research section. The famous Carol Dweck's research reveals a simple but radical truth. It says, the difference between those who stagnate and those who soar isn't talent. It's the belief that growth is possible. Believe me, every expert was once a beginner. Every master was once overwhelmed. No one mastered anything from the beginning. They applied the superior methods of spaced learning and deliberate practice to master their skills. But the question is, will you approach learning as a chore to endure or an adventure to pursue? Let's summarize the talking points of today's video. They are spaced repetition, active recall, deliberate practice, curiosity, and experimentation. And believe me, these methods are not about replicating Elon Musk, but about harnessing the science that fuels his extraordinary journey. In short, they're about empowering you. In the words of Socrates, I know that I am intelligent because I know that I know nothing. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video inspiring and helpful, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more inspirational content. Until next time.